All right, today we're going to compare the Remington factory loading 120 grain supersonic and the 220 grain subsonic. I have a representative of each round here. All right, so you can tell the size difference between on your left, my right, is the heavy 220 grain subsonic round. <clears throat> and you can see how much bigger and longer it is, well, longer, longer it is compared to the supersonic round. We're also going to answer a question asked by one of the one of my viewers was, will the heavy stuff stabilize in the one and eight twist barrel of this little uh, there in a blackout? We're going to find out today. Is my barrel above the chronograph? Look, look at the, this. Mm -hmm. Make sure I'm not shooting the chronograph. One thousand twenty-two. Right in his neck. And it looked like a perfectly round hole, so we'll shoot the rest of these three. Ten fifty two. Ten forty nine. All right, now the supersonics. Nineteen seventy three. Nineteen forty five. Nineteen sixty. That's pretty fast out of a ten and a half inch barrel. I think we've chronographed these before and that's about that's about right. Alright, let's go down range and look at the target. Looks like they stabilized me. I don't see any keyholing. So that looks like we're stabilized to me. If y'all have any more questions, just let me know.